at Donovan. I'm a victim of crime. I've been asked to work with Castle Trust to pick the art from offenders. Um, it's been a very emotional time. It's been at times challenging. Um, we've had to pick from 5,000 exhibits. We've had to pick 150, along with seven other victims of crime. Um, it's been an emotional time, um, but also a rewarding time. I've learned a lot from what they've painted. Um, I've, I've thought about uh, the, the emotional side of it, what they may be going through, which I wouldn't have done normally. So that's been good. To help me see the other side of crime has been, has been quite raw sometimes, but also really challenging, but good in a good way, because that's a positive thing if, if you see both sides. So it's really been good for me. It's very good from a, a prisoner's point of view to be able to create a, something in art that expresses how they feel. Often, like victims of crime, they don't get to speak out how they feel about maybe something in their past, something like that. And it brings out all sorts of expressions in them. I think that's a good thing. It's got to be a positive thing again. Um, and I think they may be surprised in many cases how amazingly good they are at art, which gives them an opportunity to maybe even change their lives. So personal trust is a great thing in, in, in that respect where it gives them that opportunity. To win awards gives them some self-esteem back, which they often lose. Yes, I think we, we um, often feel that we're, uh, we're out powerless as victims of crime and, and yes, we've taken control, if you like, in, in a positive way by, by actually curating this, this art exhibition uh, and showing people in a different light to, and hoping that the public will see it in the way that we see it now. And, and I think that's got to be a good thing. It helps on this road of forgiveness and moving on for victims. I hope it helps the prisoners in the same way.